Hey guys, do you want to see a movie that features sawed off shotguns, betrayal by a friend, and wisecrack humor? Wisecrack humor? Well, yeah, where's the wisecrack humor? I, Chuck Norris oh, does, yeah, have yeah, yeah, does have a lot of one liners. That's Yeah, yeah. Yes. If you yeah. do, <laughs> then The Hitman from 1991 yes. is for you. The Hitman from 1991 is the movie that we are reviewing for this episode of Loose Cannon. My name is Brian Lee. To my left, Brian Brian. To my right, Chris really Mustache Chuck. Mm hmm. Well, when he's a good guy, he has a mustache. Right. When he's a bad guy, he has a beard. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, and a mullet in both cases. Yes. yes. Always. Christopher. What is the synopsis? Oh, yes. Uh, for people who have not seen The Hitman, uh, I had not. Have I no, ever seen this no, before? No, no, no. no. Uh, police officer Cliff Garrett, played by Chuck Norris, uh, is wounded in the line of duty and is on the edge of death. Uh, the DEA decides to use his peerless condition to their advantage. Uh, Brian Rand, do you recommend The Hitman? I do. I, I liked... All the Chuck Norris not caring and just killing. He's like, oh, let me call these people. I don't care what you say. And then it's just like, the movie's over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 That's so, actually a pretty good description of the end. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, uh, Christopher? Yes. I have some problems with the story, which is weird, but yes. I, yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. But yeah, overall, I <clears throat> would recommend it. Yeah. Um, For me, so I will say this is probably my favorite Chuck Norris character. Aside from Delta Force. Oh, he's great. Yeah, he's yep. yeah, it's really good. Um him kind of kind mm. of playing a bad guy, even though mm -hmm. he's not right. really. Uh I thoroughly enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Um and also whenever someone has a mullet like that, so whether it be this or like Jean Claude Van Damme and Hard Target, yes. yep. it's just an awesome fucking movie. Yeah. I do <laughs> I have an issue. I feel I really, really do feel like, and I don't know if it's in your notes, mm -hmm. I really feel like this was a made-for-TV movie. Yeah, it's... Yeah, agreed. And it had that vibe to it. Yeah, but I feel like a lot of movies around, like, the early 90s that were action-y, mm -hmm. that weren't, you know, A-list movies, yeah. were kind of had that vibe of TV. Would you say that it felt like a TV movie, or just that it was low budget? No, it felt like a TV movie, just the way that it was cut... Mm. Um, oh, okay. like I feel like a lot of times I'd be coming back from a commercial break and I think a big part which was one of my biggest issues with the movie mm. was the soundtrack the fucking sad oh, trumpet yeah I was fucking yeah. over I yeah. thought you were going to say the kid but yeah, that's yeah it's the too. music yeah. Yeah. yeah the kid well, he wasn't in it too much yeah, yeah. it was just but, but that's actually a really good point for the TV movie because it had that Chuck Norris like teaching the kid how to yeah, stick up for himself right. and which wasn't bad, but yeah. it's very like after school <laughs> yeah. type yes. of and thing. Kept, kept calling him Tiger. Yeah. 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 What's wrong, Tiger? What's the matter, Tiger? What are you doing out here? Yeah, so when he's a good guy, he has a mustache, and then once he's a bad guy or yeah, undercover, undercover, he has the yeah. mullet. Yeah. yeah. Let's everyone double cross let's talk everyone. about the story. Because there's uh, Chuck Norris is originally an undercover agent with like basically I would say like the Italian mob. Yeah, uh, it's uh, the Italians are loot. The mob yes. boss is Lugani. I yeah, think. yeah. Yes. But then with the two Baluks or whatever they call themselves. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, there's the Italians, and then there's also like the French Canadians, which that guy's is Lacombe. Yeah, Lacombe. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And then the Iranians. Yeah, yeah. With so yeah, yeah. the Iranians. Yeah, so there's like kind of like three nationalities. And then I think Chuck Norris's original goal is to unite the Italians and the French. Yes. Together. Yes. And the Iranians kind of like whatever. Right. Yeah. Well, to stop the Iranian threat of coming in and yeah. taking but, over their turf. Yeah. So basically you have like these three nations and then Chuck Norris is kind of like meddling with everything. And then his buddy from the beginning right. that double crosses him. Yeah. Does he have his own goals too? The Iranians. Uh, he, he works for the Iranians. Oh, for the Iranians. Yeah. So, well, the Iranians right. are his people. Yeah, they're oh, his. They're okay. his people. But like that Lugani guy was also his his people. That's what I was confused about. Right. So, so it I didn't make too much sense. I was curious if Chuck Norris's former partner was kind of like Chuck Norris, where he's just trying to like have everyone battle each other. Well, that's how I kind of feel because at the end it shows like. He helps Lug Lugani, so it kind of feels he was like double crossing Lugani the whole time to get rid of the French. Mm -hmm. But then when the French are finally gone, then he gets rid of the Italian people. Yeah, and you know, 
probably would have gotten rid of the Iranians sooner or later. You know, they don't, you know, specify that's going to happen. But yeah. the way the movie is, it kind of shows like he's like out for himself yeah. type person. So he makes deals that only like work for him. Mm hmm. So, see, I mean, I'd say that's my biggest gripe with this movie is just the story and like yeah. who's working with who, who's double crossing who. <laughs> it's really yeah, it's a lot of just double crossing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, everything else, like the dialogue yeah. is like awesomely yeah. cheesy yeah. and like the fight scenes, the one liners, like that's all awesome. Yeah. Yes. Why lots of, uh, lots that? of slurs. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there were a lot. The yeah. Edward. Yeah. Well, that one dad or that kid. Yeah. Oh, the fucking yeah. Yeah. The scummiest well, looking guy yeah, ever. That's why when Chuck, when it, like the fight's over, and yeah. Chuck walks over and just right through the screen. <laughs> and then I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah, I that was screen doors. Yeah, 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 exactly. That's why I was I so mean, pumped. that guy, he's got like a weird comb over. He's this yeah. big fatso. He's yeah. got the fucking creeper mustache. Yeah, yeah. I think he's like smoking like a cigarette too yeah. or something like yeah. that. Yeah. Which how weird was that? That like yeah, that weird old racist dude. He's like on his front step. Chuck Norris is on his front step across the street. Right. Yeah. And like the two boys are just fighting each other, and they're yeah. both just like watching. Mm -hmm. like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. God. Yeah. God. Now, I, why did I write Chuck Norris the jerk? Oh, probably because you did the the poke a poke to the guy, like make him spill the coffee all oh, over. But yeah. that's fine because the guy was a bad yeah, guy. A bad I didn't, guy. I didn't, well, I didn't know at the time. I just wrote yeah, down, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but he did tell a dead baby joke for some reason. He did. Did, did you? No. You didn't catch the dead baby joke. Chuck Norris scar scares his partner. The partner spills coffee all over himself, and Chuck Norris thinks it's hilarious. Yeah, he's like yeah. laughing for like thirty seconds <laughs> right. straight. But then his partner goes, that's "Funny, he's a fucking dead baby." <laughs> So, oh, yeah, I don't, okay. <laughs> Did Chuck Norris say that? No, no, no. no, no, no I was going to say, yeah, I'm yeah. like, I don't picture him saying yeah, that. Yeah, it was really, it was weird. Uh, um, I do like, though, after, so after that first stakeout, when he goes back to his, you know, apartment and Tiger is sleeping in the doorway. <laughs> yeah. So Tiger is like the neighborhood kid yeah. from uh, across the hall. This <laughs> is going to be Tiger, it's yeah. fine. Yeah, and, uh. Yeah, and he's just like, uh, oh, come sleep in my yeah, <laughs> come yeah. sleep in my house. <laughs> You're making it sound really strange. But it's fine. It's fine. It was a different time. Right, right. <laughs> and, and the mom is totally cool with it. Oh, yeah. Uh but, yeah. Yeah, but my favorite though is like, you know, so like he makes him a bed mm -hmm. and then Chuck Norris just takes off his necklace yeah. and then just goes to bed fully like a, clothed yes, on top, top of, of the sheet. He's like a vampire, yes. <laughs> <laughs> well that and so like, you know, we all know the cliche where you're like, you know people like have guns like in between the mattress yes, or like under yeah. the mattress he just put her, his under the comforter which yeah, I, so yeah. that means he's like laying on top of it <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, that doesn't seem comfy yep and well, then the mom comes and right she shows up next morning oh that my God. interaction i wasn't too bad i wasn't really upset with that it was it was a little we me, which interaction weird between um chuck norris and the mom it was it was awkward but it it was like it was like it was kind of it was sweet. That's what I'm trying. It was kind of that sweet. one was okay. But the yeah. interaction between the mom and the son. Yes. Tell you better go get ready for school. <laughs> it's Saturday, you mom. <laughs> Right. Yeah, like, yeah. Both just like chuckling yeah. like a bunch of fucking nut bags. Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, what the fuck? Everyone, yeah. there's a gas leak in this fucking apartment. <laughs> like, dude, it's, uh, yeah, it's fair. That exchange yeah, that was, was a really, little, yeah, that was no, a little strange. Oh, and then the fucking name, the other thing, he's like, he's like, ah, you like, you like yeah. model, you like, you yes. like model airplanes? Yeah. <laughs> kind of like, like, you want a key to my apartment? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the mom's like, that's fine. <laughs> right. But it was a different time. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, because she's like, what, work two full time jobs, one uh, part time? Yeah, right. Yeah. Which, how would you even do that? I don't know. That's crazy. Well, because he's Chuck Norris gets home late. Must have been like one in the morning, guessing that maybe it was late. Right. I mean, he and even the kid, said he got home yeah, late. The so. kid's sleeping. The mom doesn't get home until the sun's out, anyways. So mm -hmm. it's like like getting ready for school time. So she, it's like, she, when does she get to sleep? Because she cause remember when she's like, I got to get to work soon. Right. right. So she gets about three hours of sleep or something like yeah. guessing. It's, yeah, that's that's crazy. Just goes to show what's wrong with America. Yeah, exactly. Girl. <laughs> Speaking of questionable dialogue. <laughs> so uh, intermittently throughout the movie, uh, Chuck Norris will meet with the chief. Whoever he yes. is. That, uh, Chambers. Every exchange between Chuck Norris and that guy. I just beca I just became more confused, or like, I didn't really know. Yeah. It's like it's like are they was this like filmed for a different movie? Was it, it's like, what's happening <laughs> here? Right. It was very very strange. But Chuck when, didn't care at all. But when they're at the aquarium and like there's like the manatees. Oh, that was very sexual. <laughs> yeah. So Chuck Norris and the chief are having conversation at like an aquarium yeah. or a zoo or whatever. Right. And then the chief leaves. Yeah. So it's just Chuck Norris right. with these 
whales or whatever. Yeah, and yeah. You go ahead. Yeah, and he's just like rubbing the glass. He's like, yeah, yeah baby, yeah, you're beautiful. I mean, so he's fucking this kid. He's yeah. fucking those manatees. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Yeah, the DEA guy or whoever his boss has no idea what's going on. <laughs> he's like, "Why are you gonna kill more people?" <laughs> well, because he's easy. Like, Stop doing this stuff. And he's like, "Chuck's like, no." And he walks <laughs> yeah. away. It's really all, all it is. Right, right. So this is back to the beginning where it turns out that Chuck Norris's partner is bad, mm-hmm. and yes. like Chuck is like, like so the lighting, like of that guy, he looked like Brian Cranston or Malcolm the Middle's dad. That's what I thought it was at the beginning because the lighting. There makes him look like Malcolm the Middle's dad. It was very strange, and then I was so disappointed when it wasn't. He would have been pretty young. Yeah, well, I know. That's why I was like, "This well, is really actually, weird." No, because you know, Malcolm in the Middle yeah, was late nineties. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I didn't like yeah. that show. I wasn't a huge fan. I think I, I tried watching it and just didn't. You're really not the boss of me now. Yeah, yeah. You're not the boss of me now. You're not the boss of me now. You're yeah. that kind of yeah. punk, punk rock. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Scott. Fuck yeah. Scott, dude. Fuck. How dare you? Really? How dare you? Dude, why is fucking horns in fucking horns? Horns in, <laughs> in, horns. <laughs> in fucking. There's some good ska. Name one. Mustard plug. Is that I'm, a real thing? Yeah, it's <laughs> a real thing. They're not. They're not, they're not. Well, slapstick before they became the Broadways, before they became Lawrence Arms. Lawrence Arms is good. Yeah. They don't have horns. Let's split their band previously, slapstick. And why didn't they work? Because they, they have horns. horns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, Less Than Jake is popular. People like Less Than Jake. Less Than Jake? Ouch. It didn't hurt at all. <laughs> Speaking of music. Yes. Uh, so you mentioned it a little bit. So there's this whole sequence where Chuck Norris is uh, teaching tiger how to yes, like you know yes. do self-defense yes and like he starts off by like telling like this story yeah. now do we think that story was real uh, or it was he making up the story to relate try and relate to him that's a true story from chuck norris's actual life really wow it doesn't surprise, it doesn't surprise me though that's yeah, that, doesn't, the trivia. that doesn't surprise me wow yeah <laughs> it's, it, it makes it makes chuck norris like look even like cooler i think like he's yeah. more of a badass because he's getting picked and on. fucking Native Americans yeah. like pieces of shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if that's the stance you want to take, I'm just fine. saying, dude. They're alcoholics. They take all our money. And then they're beat up on Norris. And they own all the casinos. <laughs> <laughs> they don't know their thing. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so he's telling that story. Mm. Which turned out, I guess, was a real mm. thing. Yeah. And uh, he's like, well, what should I do? He's like, oh, I'll move that table. Yeah. And, like, while he's teaching him like well he's like giving him instructions but then all of a sudden it cuts to this montage mm-hmm. and the music that plays it's very, yes it's very, yeah it's like this mashup of randy newman and yeah. Yeah. steely dan and the theme song from perfect strangers yeah. it's like this very <laughs> bizarre like, It should have been more like, like, um, over the top. Remember the music from Over the Top? More like that. Not meet me halfway. Meet me halfway across the sky. Yeah, something similar to that though, where the kids like, like, oh no, what was a movie when they're um, uh, it was one of the first films we watched when they're driving the semi. And like they, they start putting the spikes on it. And oh, the music that's during a Thunder there. Run. Yes, maybe like that. Maybe that. Maybe the Thunder Run music. Don't look for help from anybody else. It- oh, and then the fucking the the the, the, the promiscuous woman. Yes. Which I wasn't gonna slut shame. Right, but I thought it was very strange because so she's cheating on the Italian boss right. with Chuck Norris, yeah. which that's that's whatever. Right, but. Well, like, it's not did, whatever. Well, did I miss something? Because it went from just that to, I don't know, mm. to the, all of a sudden she's in her car and then she gets shot in the head. Like, because the yeah, scene was... that cut to that was very, like, did I miss how they found out? Or didn't, like, it's like all of a sudden you knew. <sighs> they must have. I, but I, then, they, well, well they, they say later how he found out, but it was, it played really weird how yeah. it all turned yeah, out. Yeah, because I feel like I've nowhere, like, because she calls Chuck Norris and be yeah. like, oh, we need to m- meet right away. Right. I yeah. can't say why. Yeah. Right. And then, yeah, the scene where she gets killed. Okay. But it's, yeah, it's, yeah, I agreed. <laughs> like, how that sequence happened was, it was yeah, not it was easy kinda, to follow. Yeah, it was pretty cool, though, how, like, 
like how the how her murder happened was yeah. really cool. Oh yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Like how they try they they trap them in yeah. kind of yeah. classic gangster style, yeah. and then the guy gets out of the back car, yeah. shoots her, and then walks to, to the, the front, front car. They both take off. It was right. a matter of seconds. It was well, that was kind of. I mean, I guess it wasn't the most covert thing. Oh no, no. Like, hey, that guy no. went from that car to that yeah, car. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. But I mean, everyone else is yeah. driving around right. like oh silly mobsters. Right. Yeah. Where does this take place? I have no idea. Maybe they did say Seattle. Was it Seattle? Because oh. I think all I remember was just the, the mom saying, um, It's raining again. Yeah, it's raining again. Oh, and, did she? Really? No, no, no. I, no, no, I, I was going to say, no. I'm like, <laughs> It's like, the, like, oh, I have to work super hard to live in this neighborhood, or like, I like it's hard to afford oh, this neighborhood. Yeah, it's, it's hard, hard to get into I this need neighborhood. To all these jobs. Yeah, right. yeah. So Chuck Norris is a pretty upstanding guy. Doesn't usually swear a lot. You know, yes, there's a lot of violence, but it's not like super gory generally. Yeah. Uh, in this movie, do they. Uh, allude to him going down on that woman? Yes, yes. I so think that was very so. odd. It yeah. was, I uh, he's got that smirk. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, pussy goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I was kind of surprised for Chuck Norris. Oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, me too. Because I wonder if he and was. They like, were not married. No, yeah. no, no. <laughs> yeah, because I know later in life, didn't he become like a big go mm-hmm. god guy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't. I mean, uh, God, maybe it wasn't at this point. Because yeah. like, uh, Aaron is Aaron Norris his brother? Or... I was going to say, is there any relation? Because yeah. Aaron yeah. Norris directed Walker. Also, okay. yeah, and he huh. directed this, right? Yeah, yeah. And then there's actually I forgot who is a smaller part, but there's another Norris in uh, this too. The uh-huh. two kids. The um, oh. the uh, the 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 Quebec guy, the the Canadian, yeah, oh, guy, okay. his two kids that are playing on the swing, those oh. are Norris kids. Oh, okay. Um, oh, neat. Speaking of Walker to Texas Ranger and Chuck Norris and his career, this movie I think only has two kicks, which is crazy. Right, what? he does a yeah. lot of just he, shooting. Uh, well, that and he knocks out a lot of people yeah. with one punch. Yeah, well, yeah, that, yeah, that too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because uh, the first kick isn't until 50 minutes in. Yeah. Oh, wow. When yeah. he goes to the Iranian restaurant thing with the belly dancer yeah, that's lady. that's right. That's right. Which was an awesome scene. It, it was great. And did he put, like, a dollar bill in the, the dance? So. Yeah. Because I'm sitting there, and all of a sudden, he just goes, like, like goes, like, yeah. near her boobs. I'm just like, wait, what's he doing? Oh, okay. No, that's fine. Chuck. Might here, yeah. more than a yeah. dollar. We don't know that. Oh, yeah. He just put money in the. Yeah. yeah. And then he was like, are you guys eat this shit? Because he was really <laughs> like, hey. Yeah. Just, yeah. I was like, I'm, I'm, like, yeah. Yeah. I'm like, okay. Chuck, I'm like, you're gonna hurt their feelings. Yeah. <laughs> they were bad guys. Yeah, that yeah, that's true. Yeah. But uh yeah, he like kicks that guy, like yeah. they're like sitting at the short table. Yeah, yeah. 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 He kicks that guy right in the face and then he throws that bell at that other guy's head. He, awesome. he just <laughs> takes a guy's head and he goes, Boom. Yeah, yes. it really looks like he's smashing a guy's face. Like it was it the choreography choreography, is that what you sure. call it? Whatever. Yeah, it was, work, it whatever. was fantastic. Yeah. The guy even the guy did a great job coming up mm-hmm. and looking yeah. like he just got destroyed. That was right. that was Probably one of the best fight scenes throughout all this because a lot of them were um, just stake out shooting scenes. Yeah. yeah. So this was one of the only like in one place. Mm-hmm. Chuck's beating up like five or six guys, and then that's it. Mm-hmm. But I forgot to mention this is early again. Um, so when Chuck, we I think we think we said so. Chuck did get his partner and turned on him. Chuck had shot in the chest. And in the head, right? right or something right, like that. Right, like right. he gets, yeah, something like that. He gets like, and he falls out of a building too. Yes. So he's yeah. basically on top of a yeah. car. So he's basically oh, dead. Oh, and that car explodes. Yeah. 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 So he's basically <laughs> dead. How we we've already talked about. Yeah. So did you guys catch? You know, so they're in the hospital, and all the doctors are around them and stuff. And he's they're in the room, and that one nurse has the the metal thing holding the gauze, just pokes oh, him in the he, face like five times, yeah. and that's it. Yeah, because she's, hold, she's holding, like, I think, a sponge. Yeah, and yeah. she's like trying to get all the blood that's yeah. on his face, but it's like, okay, like you said, he is covered, covered. in blood. Yeah, yeah. And she has the world's tiniest <laughs> yes. sponge. And she goes, dee, 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 and then it's a crash cart, and yeah. that was it. I think it's like 11.15. It was right early, but I was just like, that made me laugh, because yeah. it was pretty funny. <laughs> Was that him who shot the shotgun at the guy's knee and it exploded everywhere? Yes. The guy crawling? Yeah. Yes. That was, that was at the end. Yeah. And that was that one Iranian dude. Dude, that was yeah. fucking Dude, when brutal. he just, when he went to, like, when, so was he Italian guys? No, the French? Dead. Italian guys? Dead. Yeah. And all of a sudden, Chuck Norris just blows up a wall and he's just standing there and he's like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, that, that was, was so good. That was, that's fine. 
Yes. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I remember he shoots that guy's knee and it fucking explodes yeah. everywhere. But then at, so at the end, like it's, you know, Chuck Norris, like face to face with his, you know, ex partner and yeah, stuff yeah. like that. And, you know, he has him tied up in a chair, like <laughs> hanging, yes. like outside. And like the chief finally shows up. He's like, rah, 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 rah. and like, I forget Chuck Norris is like, he's like, oh, it's almost about time. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, almost time for what? Right. And then it shows a bomb strapped yeah. to the bad guy. Yeah. Yeah. And he ex- the, ex- explodes everywhere. <laughs> you Dude. see the chunks. <laughs> yes. That was like, and, the, but, and I'm just like, Chuck Norris, well, he's not a good cop. <laughs> They wanted, no, to take, oh, no, they wanted to take him in. Uh, well, yeah, so wanted, they, we all must, these things. We, we skipped over the best part. Yeah, this dude literally explodes into yeah. pieces. The chief was like, oh, we want him alive. Huh. Chuck Norris just turns around and goes, ain't life a bitch. Credits. Yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> there's all these times where like Chuck should be doing this, something a certain way because the, the chief is just like, well, no, you got to. He's like, he's like, no. And then that's it. Yeah. It's just, oh, man. Uh, and one other quick note I'll add is uh, <laughs> Chuck Norris has a real asshole movement where there's two guys moving a couch and he pushes oh, yeah, them over. Yeah, yeah, that was pretty great. That was great. Like, well, <laughs> another one where Chuck, before he goes down on yeah, uh, the yeah. lady, where he uh, she's like, he's like, I don't know why I keep coming over here. He's like, then why do you? Yeah. Oh, and yeah. then she goes to slap him. Yeah. Dude, his movements, he just grabs her and puts her up against the <laughs> wall. Right. I was like. Chuck, like <laughs> easy. Yeah, yeah, he wants what he wants, yeah, dude. Yeah, it's just so strange seeing yeah, Chuck and Norris take right. any kind of like right. aggressive, like notion or any kind well, of aggressiveness. Like he's he's normally some... that character that would like lay a jacket over like right. a puddle, you know? Yeah, exactly, exactly. So to see that, like I said earlier, it was cool to see him be like bad. the bad guy. Like, who's bad? Yeah, Chuck Norris is. Oh, <laughs> huh? a little bit of trivia. Uh, I suppose you guys can probably guess who is supposed to be the main character. Charles Bronson. Yep. <laughs> Man, that was, how old would he have been? Like 103 at the time? Yeah. <laughs> about that. Yeah, yeah. that's about right. Okay. Please. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah. Going down on the girl. Oh. <laughs> uh, Canon Group was so starved for money during the production of The Hitman that the developing house who was processing the film refused to grant them access to their own footage until they drew up a payment schedule. Man, I wonder how it happened because it wasn't that many years before this where they had decent films, right? Or the money makers. Canon? Yeah, right? No, into the 90s is when they start kind of like... Is that... Yeah. Some... Well, I forgot what movie it was. We covered what their last... Uh, theatrical movie was. I want to say it's a Van Damme. Was it Mass- Yeah, I feel like it was Van Damme. Damme movie. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah, I think you're right. <laughs> Had some clear evidence that anyone could input trivia into IMDb. <laughs> it is interesting that one lot. Oh, they didn't even spell that right. What's the French guy's name? The Lacombe. Uh, it's interesting that <laughs> when. <means> the Comb. <laughs> 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 that just makes me think of Principal Skinner in uh, Vietnam or whatever. Yes. <laughs> uh, it is interesting that when Lacombe is talking to Grogan. <laughs> no, I just picture big <laughs> <talking>. <laughs> uh, <laughs> It still has hands. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. It's like play itself. Of course. <laughs> uh, it is interesting that when uh, Lacombe is talking to Grogan, he talks ruthless. However, when he is running in the woods from the Middle Eastern gangsters, he is screaming and groveling. Yes, like, that's not trivia. <laughs> it's wow. really not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks yeah. for pointing it out. That's a shitty movie detail. Yeah, uh, that's all it is. So. Okay. Uh, now that we have talked about it, The Hitman from 1991. Brand, Brand, do you still, I think, did you say recommend it? Yes, yeah. I still do. Probably even a little bit more. Yeah. Hmm. Brian. You still recommend the Hitman? Yeah, I mean, it's there's a lot that I like, but just like the low budget quality of it, yeah. just kind of yeah, a little off putting. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I still recommend it. I actually kind of don't mind that like low budget quality. Yeah. I like movies that when when you watch them, you feel like the best way to watch it is on like a VCR on a tube TV. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this is like a, a Saturday afternoon action yes. on like WGN or, or yes. like Channel 50 WPWR. Yes, I, yes. So actually, so when I was watching this, I pictured myself staying home sick from school yes. watching this on exactly. Channel 50. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yep. Yeah. I think that's everything, right? Yeah. Good, Good journey. journey. Good journey. If you like Nick Cage and horrible great movies from the Canon Group Films, then like, comment, and subscribe for Nick Uncaged Podcast.